you're the least convincing forester I've ever met in my life. Where's your, where's your flannel shirt? Where's your boots? Where's your hard hat? Where's the bark under your fingernails? Let me see your fucking fingernails. You would smell like spruce if you planted trees. I'm not buying it whatsoever. I live in a spruce-covered state. Our entire state is made. If you came to Montana where I live, you'd have an orgasm. You'd have some sort of spruce, spruced-up orgasm. You would. You would just breathe it in once and you, you would explode. Fucking covered in spruce. And huckleberry. And bears. Very, there are more people in this room than actually live in my state, ladies and gentlemen. And it's very, very friendly. I don't know if anyone here has been to Montana. Have you been to Montana? You're not interested in our trees? We have wonderful trees, you know. Come to Montana. I'm going to take you under my wing like a fucking chicken. And I'm going to show you spruce that will that'll make your head bleed. I'm show you Animals. The way you go to Montana is a big stuffed head staring at you from the wall. It's a bit eerie. Bison, you're going to dry cleaners? What the fuck is that buffalo staring at? Well, he wandered in, so I shot the bastard. It's a dry cleaner! And it bugs me, in a way. And I'm not for or against hunting, and I don't really care that much. But uh, when you see a big head on the wall, the look on their face is clearly always the last thought going through their head, which is usually this. What is that, a gun? <laughs> So, uh, it's a very friendly place. I live in a town of 6,000 people, more like a village. The only evil person is the guy who runs the Chinese restaurant. And I'll tell you why, because he puts his own fortunes into the cookies at the end of the meal, and they're really fucking evil. <laughs> you, know, you and your fat wife will eat here again next week. <laughs> Basically, Montana, though, you can't go into any kind of shop and conduct a transaction without enduring a litany of questions that have nothing at all to do with even why you're there. I tried to buy hiking boots this summer because I wanted to look at some spruce. <laughs> my annual spruce hike through Yellowstone National Park. So I go in to buy hiking boots. And I just say to the guy, it's a good shop, I'd like some boots. And this is what he says, where are you going hiking? Like, are you coming with me? Why? I said, well, I'm going hiking in Yellowstone National Park. Oh, well, you'll need a bell. Why? So the grizzly bears know where you are. <laughs> you are the worst salesman I've ever met in my life. What the fuck is wrong with you? I came in to buy boots and now you're trying to turn me into a fucking target for a nine foot carnivore? What the hell is wrong with you? Well, if the, the bear knows where you are, they might leave you alone. <laughs> Put the bell on the bear and I'll leave him alone. How about that? It's your choice. If you don't want a bell, fine. What? Sell me a fucking bell. Well, we don't sell bells. <laughs> the best place to find them is in big piles of grizzly bear shit. <laughs> so, uh, it, it is a lovely stage. Uh, you know, I... Uh...